What's up, YouTube? We're working on a coolant bypass valve on a 2014 1.6 liter EcoBoost Ford Escape. Um, if you don't know what that E is, you'll pop that off the little valve cover, which right here. and then it's right here. You're gonna need a size 8 to take that screw out. Let me get close for you. An 8 to take that screw out on that side. You're gonna need an 8 to take that screw out on that side. Then you're gonna get the clamps or whatever you can get to pull that hose off and then this whole thing will come off, okay? So if you can move this clamp right here out the way and move it to the side or up some, you can get to that, that other that other 8 on the other side, which is right there. Right there. Okay, so that's a, a coolant bypass valve uh, that needs to be replaced. Um, let me figure out what code it is. Well, I will put it in the description below. That's how you do it. Let me get the other one for you. Hold on a second. All right, so we continue uh, working on this uh, 2014 1.6 EcoBoost uh, Ford Escape. And this is the part. Uh, what code was it? P. It was code P. Uh, I'm not trying to talk too much, y'all, because I know how y'all is about people talking. P26B7 was the code for this at the AutoZone. So, she got this part. The replacement part. It's going to be just like this. It's going to stand the part like this. Facing you like this, it's gonna sit in the car just like this, right there. Okay, this is the original one. It's gonna be on this hose right here. I took off both of these was eight millimeters. Both of these was eight millimeters. Then you got this hose to take off last. Then you're gonna reverse everything you just did. But yeah, hope this video helps someone out. I don't know the year range. But I just want to make this quick video because I'm dealing with it right now. And uh, the car didn't act different or anything. It just, the cold came on. And she just got this car from Carvana. Carvana. And it had, what, a week? And then two weeks and the light came on. So I don't think it was covered under the warranty or whatever. So, yeah. How much was this on Amazon? It was about 50 bucks on Amazon. So um, if it's cheap at the dealership, then go, go ahead and... Uh, Look on uh, Amazon and look for it. Amazon got everything. I think you can buy a house on Amazon. But yeah. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. You don't have to like or subscribe or anything. Just a, a helpful tip. And that's what it looked like. And then when y'all when y'all put it back in, you don't have to uh, over tighten it. You can tighten it just kind of like you do an oil filter. You just turn it until it's real tight and then you give it another quarter turn. You don't want to strip out where the uh, screws go. So, But that's basically what we did there you replace that one that screw over there which is an eight the opposite side screw right there these this sensor take that out you take that sensor out and then uh when you get all that off this will be free you take that hose off and that's it it'll take you about like i want to say 15 minutes to change this out y'all easy fix and then the engine light should go off I think it's 30 miles or two drive cycles, all right?